Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today, I have a, a sort of weird video that you don't get with many DVD collectors. Now, as some of you, some of you may know, DVDs come, or some DVDs, come with little little leaflets that you can, you know, get on the inside of their little boxes strapped right here. Now. I have quite a few DVDs in my collection, not as many as most DVD collectors, but I have a fair few. Um, as you can probably see by this huge pile that I have here. And a um, bit of a weird video, but I thought I'd show you the uh, leaflets I've got. Um, Heads up for the next video, as some of you know, I have a small book collection, and in the next video, I shall show you my book collection, as there's been quite a few additions to it. Anyway, so, let's get into leaflets. Now, first up, we have the Complete Davros Collection leaflet book. We have the Complete Davros Collection book, as I just said. Um... Now this obviously came with the Complete Davros Collection DVD box set, which is one of 10,000, which is super incre incredible, bleh, can't talk. Um, and I got really, really lucky to have found it in my local shop. So yes, um, it's quite lovely. Um, I won't go into this much detail with the other ones as they're just generic leaflets, but I will show you the front and the back. However, with the like special edition or collectible items or complete series, they often come with these small little leaflets that give you some background information or tell you a bit about the story. So, um, on the inside, um, we have the story of Davros, which I believe I actually had a look into this in my review of it in my video, which you can check out in my curated playlist box set reviews. Um, I shall leave a link in the description. <laughs> So here we have the story of Davros, and that takes us through Genesis, uh, through to Resurrection, all the way up to Resurrection of the Daleks. No, nope, sorry, Remembrance of the Daleks, Resurrection is Peter Davison's. Um, yes, it, it's, it was released in 2008, I believe, don't quote me on that though. Um, I will have a look it up and I will put it in the description when the box it was made. Um, but I can't edit for crap. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, so, um, so yes, quite a nice little design. The black and purple really do complement each other with this. So, yes, that's uh, the Complete Davros collection. Then we have episode uh, two. Now, recently, as you may see... I can't, it's over there. But <laughs> recently I brought the prequel trilogy of Star Wars. Um, I bought them separately because I couldn't find the trilogy bo uh, box set. I say box set with air quotations because it came in a singular DVD casing. Um, this isn't it, but it's something like this. Um, they came separately. Um, but yes, so episode 2 came with a little leaflet. And that's the front with Yoda. And that's the back with the chapters. Uh, and here's the inside, which is actually really nice. It's golden um, colour titles. But um, they tell you about the f special features and stuff that you get at this DVD, which I thought is super, super nice. So then we have episode three, Revenge of the Sith. Um, honestly, my favourite film. Um, obviously everyone says that Hayden Christian, uh, the, or the lines he was given and the acting, um, wasn't as good as it could be, but, I mean, let's be honest, uh, the acting in the prequel trilogy and the sequel trilogy has never been good, but that's not why we love Star Wars, the reason we love Star Wars is because it puts us in a, in a universe of, of freedom. But, uh, so this is the front, and you might see it's sort of a shinier, golden sort of thing on the front, you can't really see that from uh, from the camera but uh, same with the second one, we have the title and a bit of the picture, sort of like a little poster sort of thing and we've got the chapters on the back and I imagine we have special features 
inside. <laughs> I can't talk at all today. Now the next three, nope, it only came with one. Never mind. Uh, see if I can find the others. If it, no, nope. okay. So again, if you've watched my roast, one of my blah, one of my most recent videos, then you know I brought the Family Guy Star Wars uh, trilogy. Um, and the only one that came with a little leaflet is this. Um, this is just Darth Stewie with um, Chris as Luke in the eyes of Stewie. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but this just gives you some information on how to use it and sort of that technical jargon for smart people. <laughs> um, also, online, I bought a Game of Thrones box set. Season 1, 2, 6. Um, and for some reason, only the first three seasons had these little leaflet things. So uh, let's get into them. So season 1, uh, we have basically just what it looks like uh, or what the uh, DVD sort of cover looks like if that makes sense and uh, so we've got uh, Ned Stark on the front uh, we've got bonus features on the back sort of like a blurb of a book if you can see that um, oh I did not know this what okay that is so cool I didn't even notice that have a look at that you've got a little family tree of season one that's so cool i didn't i didn't even notice that so we got um house baratheon with uh robert and cersei having uh, three kids spoiler alert it was jamie uh, we got the lannister one um we got targaryen and house stark which is uh, fun but i didn't know that that's a fun sort of featurette thing that's quite not featurette, uh, special feature sort of thing. But that's that's quite nice. I really do appreciate it when they put the effort into every aspect of a box set. The little leaflet, the box itself, like with Breaking Bad. I don't know if this came with a leaflet, did it? No. Like with Breaking Bad, you know. Um, I I think the design and how they really put um, all the effort into it really makes me appreciate it that much more. Uh, then we got season two um, again, DVD cover, or the front cover, um, bonus features, and I'm hoping. Oh no, because okay, so season two was um, I think it was War of the Five Kings in the books, and so here they've referenced that with the claimants to the throne. We have Joffrey Baratheon, the illegitimate son of Jaime Lannister and Cersei Lannister. Stannis Baratheon, the brother of Robert Baratheon, who is actually the rightful, um, what do you call it? The rightful, has a rightful claim to the throne. And we've got Renly Baratheon, who ran simply because he thought he'd make a better king. Um, Joffrey ran because uh, he thought he was the son of Robert Baratheon. Baratheon. It didn't really come out that Cersei and Jaime had uh, been getting it on until season five, I think, is when they went public. Rob Stark, as well, is the fourth one. Um, now he claims to uh, the he doesn't want the Iron Throne. Rob Stark, he um, he wants to be the king. As they chant, he wants to be the king of the North um, because he doesn't really like the Lannisters um, because they killed Ned Stark. Then we have Daenerys Targaryen, um, who believes she has a claim to the throne because her father, the Mad King, was the king. Um, and then if we go on the inside, I think... Nope, that is sad. Oh, wait, maybe. Hold on. Oh, I did forget to mention, actually, that the first and second one does actually have a map of Westeros, which is, again, pretty cool. But um, here, I think they're just an episode guides. So if we go to episode... For example, episode one, The North Remembers. Um, I think that's a reference to Ned's death. Um, it tells you who it's written by, directed by, with commentary. And a, and a little sort of blurb, as you would say, with the book about the episode. So in this one, it's Tyrion arrives to save Joffrey's crown from threats old and new. Daenerys searches for allies and water in the Red Waste. Jon Snow and the Night's Watch face the wilderness beyond the wall. 
So uh, yes, super super fun. I'm gonna do this. Um, yeah, so that's super cool. So we'll put that with the pile because I don't want them to get out of order. Um, then this is gonna be a long video, by the way. So uh, grab some snacks or whatever if you're gonna watch the whole video. Grab some snacks, a drink, and uh, sit back and enjoy. Then we have season three, and again keeping up with the thing with the bonus features. I don't know. I think because it was second hand the box set so I bought it offline on eBay. Um, it was second hand, um, and uh, yeah, so maybe it, they just lost four, five, and six, uh, which is a shame, but still. So okay, so this is the episode guide. Um, is the first one an episode guide? Or oh, just yeah, okay, they all say episode guide. Never mind. Um, on the back again, we have bonus features, which I've already said. I'm very forgetful. Um, again, now here's a bit disappointing because it just has nothing but three swords um yeah and just an episode guide but with a map of uh, no this is quite cool it doubles as a sort of poster as the um as the uh oh, there goes sneeze um wait a minute i'm gonna sneeze i just sneeze um we have the uh iron throne um, now, in, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> in the books, little fun fact for you. In the books, um, I think it's whoever's unworthy or whoever isn't the current king. If they sat or sit in the or on the throne, then they are cut by the blades, um, which is rather cool. But they never did that on the show, um, which is really weird. Weird. Um, and then recently I bought season 7 of Game of Thrones, um, which weirdly came with this little merch thing. Um, yeah, so don't ask me about that. Um, and then we have the actual thing, which is a lot less, uh, a lot less um, effort put into it than the others. But then again, it's a separate box set. Um, so there's nothing on the front, but I think that's Daenerys' throne. I don't know. I've not seen seven season seven yet. And then episode guide, whoop, and special features. Now, sadly, season seven only had seven episodes, I believe. Um, yeah, don't know why they cut down by three episodes, but they did. Okay, so that was Game of Thrones, and that took us like five minutes. So this is just a basic movie one. Um, I think it's supposed to be uh, a Blu-ray, yes, a Blu-ray ad. Um, they put some sort of effort into it. Um, you get to split Neo's face. And you get to see what's on Blu-ray, I think. Pretty cool poster. Um, I got this from the... Now, I don't, I don't know where I got all of these from. Um, but the ones I do know, obviously I will tell you. Uh, now this one I think was from My Name Is Earl box set season one, um, and this is just a must-have box set. It's just crappy marketing, basically. Um, oh my god, season five, Family Guy. That is old, but yeah. So that's that's that. Um, we have a Universal statement. Uh, I don't know what that's about. That just came with one of the DVDs. That's kind of generic, actually. And now this is from the box set, the Mighty Boosh, which actually has a pretty decent box. I just didn't like the show. Uh, one and two. Yeah. Um, this is from the Mighty Boosh, and um, it's just some behind-the-scenes stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, some costumes. Oh, there we go. So yeah. Some weird stuff actually. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Someone's on a drug trip, I swear. Um, <laughs> this is gonna make you feel old. So this is a um, a sort of win leaflet thing. A Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7 inch tablet. Look at that. Oh my god, that is old. Five to win worth 200 pounds. Wow, that is crazy. Two. That's 11 years old. Wow, that is that makes me feel old. 
Um, this is obviously, as you can see, from the Lewis Therox collection. Um, I'll show you that. I forgot to show you that. Um, on the back is nothing. Um, we got a message from Lewis Therox, which I'm not going to read, but uh, the camera quality is good enough. You can just pause that, zoom in, and read. Um, then we have episode guide. Um, yeah, just episode guide. So that's that. Then we have 24, season 4. <clears throat> which is confusing, I know. Um, but again, you got the cast, episode guide, and what I can assume will be special features. No, I don't know. Yeah, just a bunch of crap. Um, then we got another one of these sort of buy it now sort of things. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah. There you go. Just a sort of uh, arrested development. Uh, just marketing crap. You know, you understand, I'm sure. Um, I don't know where I got this one from, but this is a Disney lookout for Blu ray sort of leaflet thing. Super weird. Um, we've got 60 minutes in, and we've got so much more. Oh, oh my god. This is from Downtown Abbey, the exclusive edition. Um, with special offers and promotions inside. Um, yeah. So, uh, this just is nothing to do with downtown area at all. That's weird. I don't know why they put that there, but I don't know. So, that's that. Uh, let me just straighten that up. Oh, I thought I saw something then. Um, <laughs> then we have just a flickster ad I suppose this is how they'd get you to check stuff out this came with the Ho Sherlock Holmes Robert Downey Jr. two movies um, box set um, what is this a digital copy online with the code which I'm sure has been used um, now this is uh, this is the Jackass volume 2 and 3 leaflets uh, with just the chapters and obviously Jackass is I think a T don't quote me on this, but a TV show. I know it's a I don't know a couple of movies, but um, just a group of misfits severely hurting themselves. Steve O's my favourite, obviously, <coughs> obviously, and this is just the uh, chapters. So we've got bikini wax, um, red wagon, blackhead, uh, high dive two, boxing, butt piercing, <laughs> the loop, lawn trap. Broken arm, and that's just in volume two, so that should be pretty fun to look at. Um, so next up, we have the Cleveland Show. Okay, we have the uh, Cleveland Show, and this is just your basic one leaflet. Um, I th in fact, I don't have the Cleveland Show, so I don't know where I got this from, unless it was like a, a like a leaflet ad sort of thing that I got in one of these box sets that are just like, you know, buy the Cleveland show or whatever. Um, which wasn't as good as Family Guy, obviously, um, but I'm not going to lie, he always made me laugh. So, yeah. Then we got a another ad, I'm guessing. Thanks for buying this genuine DVD, whatever. Um, I don't know, just crap. Again, I'm going to sort of skim through the little crap ones. Um, this one's pretty good, actually. This is the Omen Trilogy box set. And again, they do, and again, they, you know, I love it when they uh, put so much effort into box sets, like making it uh, across. That's so cool. And obviously, you've got loads of special features uh, with the Omen, and I'll uh, list them off. You've got Director's Commentary, a Documentary 666, The Omen Revealed. Um, Curse or Coincidence, which I don't know what that is, featurette. Uh, we've got Jerry Goldsmith interview, uh, the Omen trailer. Um, and then we've got Omen 2, we've got Producers Commentary, trailer for all three Omen movies. And the Omen 3, The Final Conflict. We've got dom uh, Director's Commentary and trailer for all three Omen movies. So really not much, but um, yeah, I mean, it goes without saying that The Omen is a legendary, legendary uh, film. Uh, but yeah, so here we got Fox DVD, uh, which I think is what we watched, not watched, saw earlier, which is just 
buy these DVDs and crap. Which I've actually got one and three of Future Armor. So that's pretty cool. But, um, wow, this is really old. Must be, because it's saying buy seasons one, two, and three of Family Guy on DVD. Wow, that is crazy. How old is this? What? This is from 2005, I'm sure. The 31st of August, I believe the 8th is. 2005. Wow, this leaflet is nearly as old as me. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. Um, oh, here we've got Jackass the movie. Um, let me just put that with the other Jackasses. Um, here we go, volume 1, 2 and the movie. Or the movie, yeah, the movie. Um, which again, it's just chapters. Um, I don't think there's any special features, which is a sham. But uh, what can you do? Um, here we have an ad for Cosmic Destruction, which just came in a singular DVD, I guess. Um, here's a cool one. We have the Star Wars original trilogy uh, leaflet thing. Um, this is uh, well, you can see there. Um, it lists off. The actors, and that's just it, it's nothing else. Um, that's pretty cool, still. Uh, here's a cool one. Then we got the Tudors, the complete series, or one to four, uh, which I actually have right here. Uh, sorry, which I actually have right here, which is about Henry VIII um, and him going through all six wives. Um, <clears throat> poor man. Um, this really cool box set. Um, load of DVDs. Um, the actress who played Marjorie Tyrell. I cannot remember her name, but I do know it. She's here as Anne Boleyn. Uh, I believe her name is... I can't find it. Never mind. Uh, maybe I'll see it here, actually. Ugh. My shelf's like all the way over there, so I have to lean. Um, this just tells you what you'll find on the discs and what the uh, episodes are about. Um, that's weird. What? Why was that stuffed in there? That's really weird. I don't know why that was like that. Um, but that's I'll get to that in a minute actually. But uh, yes, so that's um, that's the Tudors. Um, then we have, I guess, an ad for Batman. I guess. Um, I don't, I don't know. Um, now this isn't actually DVD, this is a uh, PC game, um, which is Dragon Age Ultimate Edition Code, which is an old game, very old actually. Um, here we have a Pirates of the Caribbean leaflet, it's just a promotion I guess, to win a, a, a seat, oh, I can't read that, if you can read that, congratulations, I can't. <laughs> Um, here we have a Disney movie rewards <laughs> promotion kind of thing, uh, which is really weird. Tells you how you can enter that, uh, which is really weird. Oh, here we are. We've got Pirates of the Caribbean at World End Special Edition. Um, this is really cool. And obviously, at World's End is when they went to Singapore, so I don't know what language they speak. I think it's Mandarin. I don't know. Maybe that's a racist assumption. I don't know. But if you know what that language is language is <laughs> let me know in the comments um so in here uh we have oh here we are so it just tells you the bonus features on the first few pages and then if we go inside it's chapters and uh just chapters and another bunch of weird stuff and then we've got two more of these um oh Wait a minute. Well, it turns out I've got a second one of the Attack of the Clones, which is really weird. Um, I don't know where I got that from, actually. Um, oh, shit. Everything's coming apart. Okay, hold on. <coughs> right. Uh, which way does that go? I guess that way. Uh, we've got two more of these, which are just ads for the same thing I imagine yep 
literally they're just two copies of the same thing. Um, again, I don't know why I've got two copies of these. Um, then we have the Theory of Everything Leaflet, um, which I don't know really. Just an ad with a with Jane Hawking's book. Um, then we've got um, the Hostel or Quentin T Quentin Tarantino's Hostel, uh, written directed by he Eli Roth Hostel uh, leaflet, um, <clears throat> and that's chapters. Doesn't come with any special features, um, but then they're trying to sell you more movies by going, well, if you enjoyed that, you can watch these. But I reckon they're all shit, apart from the one with Johnny Depp. I call it Johnny Depp. Um, then we've got a Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring one, um, which is super. Yeah, it's all right. It's got a load of special fe uh, features actually. Um, if you want to. Read that, then I'll keep that there for a couple of seconds just for you to read. There you go, you can pause that later. That's Lord of the Rings, really nice chapters, those special features. Lovely. Got to straighten these up again, otherwise I'll go everywhere. Um, now, this is another PC game, I believe. No, it's an Xbox 360 one. They came with whole books. <laughs> um, this is Two Worlds, I bought this. Um, and this is just your basic tutorial on how to use a game. Um, here we have uh, Dragon Age, which is a PC game, and that just tells you how to use it and stuff. Um, then we have Only Fools and Horses 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What? Stops at 5? Yep, yeah, it stops at 5. And 7 of the little chapter. An episode guide leaflets. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but they're basically the same with the season. Um, then we've got Dragon Age 2 leaflet, what? another PC game. Um, a playback switched on television. I guess this is an ad for a bunch of box sets. Yeah, just a bunch of random malarkey, I guess. Which is still, yeah. But they put effort into it, so um, this is another Disney ad sort of thing. Uh, you can look into that if you want to. Just not not much to see really. Um, then we got um, South Peak. What? I have no idea what this is. Um, I just ran a card I found. I don't even know where I found it. But here we go. Um, another one. It's I don't know. Win ten optimum DVDs. Last one. No, sorry. Um, we have two more after this. This is the Band of Brothers, which is down here, which is the tin edition. Um, Band of Brothers thing. And that just tells you what you get on the discs. And actually, I don't know why I'm putting it down there. I will show you super quickly, because this is such a cool casing. Um, you open the case. Uh, oops. You don't break the case, you open the case. Um, you open it up, and it's just a, a regular tin but still super cool and a regular box set oh, if you can see all that it goes even more blimey um <laughs> there you go that's one two three four five six dvds incredibles but there you go that's uh yeah so the two more i have are two Um, two Doctor Who ones. Um, we have the Two Doctors, which is one of the first classic series episodes I watched. Um, just a quick recap: I have watched the Curse of Peladon, the Monster of Peladon, obviously the Two Doctors. Um, I have watched Robots. I have watched The Cause of Axos, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. What I can remember. But, um, and actually, the monsters, or the Curse of Peladon, or in fact, Tales from Peladon was the first Doctor Who box set I remember buying and watching. I was very young. Um, but yeah, two Doctors, this is super cool. Uh, it's the chapter points on the back, and uh, Patrick Troughton with Colin Baker. Um, and uh, tells you a bit about the cast on there. 
and uh, on the side we have disc 2 is special features and then we have the five doctors which is the 25th anniversary of doctor who i believe with peter davison john pertley patrick Troughton, with richard Herdnall as william hartnell's the first doctor because sadly william hartnell had passed away a couple of years prior um tom baker and william hartnell i guess they just uh credit william hartnell out of respect for his deceased self but um, this is actually a really cool uh leaflet thing it's sort of silvery gray which is super cool um and obviously you've got the chapter points down there which is super cool on the inside um we have a little bit on the first doctor and this is special edition as well and we've got a little bit on the second doctor and then third doctor and then fourth doctor and then fifth doctor there you go um and we've got the other characters in the five doctors at list of susan brigadier um the brigadier sarah jane smith uh, Romana, Tegan Jovanka, Turlo, and the Master. Um, yeah, pretty cool. So the reason I kept these behind is because I wanted to keep them with the other Doctor Who leaflet I had at the uh, front. So yes. Alright, so that was my entire, entire collection of um, DVD leaflets. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I don't know why you would. Quite a boring video, but uh, there you go. Uh, as I said, the next video will be an update on my books, as you can see over there. Um, you can't now, my arm's in the way, but um, right over there. I have a couple more books that I've bought, and so that will be my next video. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoy and want more. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the future, whether that's about DVDs or anything else. Have fun.